Hey guys, I just wanted to make a tutorial here on how to retarget a specific uh, pack. Um, this pack actually came out by uh, Mizzle Frizzle at uh, Pitchfork Academy. I believe Pitchfork Academy and Co. Uh, is the ones that uh, put this pack together. I'll put a link to the video in the description so you guys can go check it out, get the pack. Uh, all props to them for putting this pack together but I want to uh, show you how to retarget them all to the Unreal Engine 4 mannequin um, you can do this with Cinti characters too I know a lot of people have issues with uh, Cinti retargeting if you guys want a video on how to retarget to the actual Cinti characters uh, by all means comment on this video I can make one and upload it anytime so yeah this is uh, a massive pack it comes in uh, multiple different tiers watch the video so you can actually get a feel for it but um, the pack that I'm currently using is the one that uses the 1800 free assets this is the largest pack on um, Unreal Engine 5.5 they have a lighter version for 5.4 and a really light version on like 5 to 5.3 or something like that so Anyway, this will apply to almost all of them. 5.3 has a slightly different way of retargeting. Uh, I haven't used it in a long time, so I kind of forget how to retarget in there. Uh, if you need me to make the video, I will quickly retarget and figure it all out again and make it. But anyway, this should apply in 5.4 and 5.5, how I'm going to retarget all of these animations to the Unreal Engine 4 mannequin. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is open up the project once you have it, which is the Project Mega Sample for 5.5. I'm currently on 5.5.4. Uh, okay, so what you're going to want to do is there's no Unreal Engine 4 mannequin in here. So all I'm going to do is click Content, Add, uh, Add Feature Pack. I'm going to put the third person in here, which I believe comes with the Unreal Engine 4 mannequin and IK rig. So Add to Project. Okay, added some extra folders, but it should be in the characters, Unreal Engine 4, Mannequin, Rigs, and now we got Retargeters, and the IK for the UE4 Mannequin. Um, I apologize if my voice sounds a little shaky and yada yada. I'm slightly nervous on doing this because I don't do too many YouTube tutorials, so just bear with me here. Um, I'm enjoying it, and I hope you guys enjoy these videos anyway. So once you have these here done, uh, we want to open up, it's going to be Unreal Engine 5 Manny to 4 that we're going to want. So we'll open this one up. Now it's got these all properly done. And now we've got uh, all these animations showing up. So we can test them all out to see if this is perfectly set up. If not, I will show you how to do that in 5.5. .5. So let's just say... Um, walk pose forward so they essentially look the same these fingers look slightly more bent than these ones so maybe we can make some adjustments uh, let's try the m4 run forward so yeah that's essentially looks all right but let's just say these uh skeletons are slightly off and they just don't quite look right what you can do is you can click the running retarget button here and then down here you have auto align you can click align all bones and snap character to ground if uh, you need to make any adjustments so i'll click this here i'll revert it if it kind of messes it up i use a plugin called uh, easy pose and that helps me um, retarget from different uh, skeletons um, i highly recommend it and check it out on fab but i'll click the align all bones see what happens Okay, so it kind of tweaked the fingers a little bit, I guess. It's, uh, it's not the greatest. I'm actually going to use the... Let me see if this one comes with... Oops. Comes with one. So we'll go characters. Uh, mannequins, rigs. So it comes with this one. Uh, source. Let's change this to the UE4. Yeah, it doesn't really make a difference. doesn't have that all properly set up. So, Okay, well, we'll do it the way that I was going to show. Should be close enough. Uh, UE4, rigs, and we'll open this one up. Okay, so those animations didn't actually look that bad. So let's go to mantle. Yeah, they look essentially identical. 
yeah, that's, that looks good enough for me. Okay, so once you have that done, you're going to want to remember that it's UE5 uh, to UE4. We'll have two of them now because I think there was one that came with it, but the yeah, we'll use uh, this specific one. So let's maybe just copy the name. We'll go into the animation library. Now, they've got three folders in here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder. I'm going to call this one uh, retargeted. Okay, and now they've got the three different folders for the three different styles of animations. I'm going to make these three folders in here. So we'll do ALS. Gasp. And Lyra. Okay, so now oops, what we're going to want to do is we're going to open up ALS. We'll uh, click on the first one. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this um, directory path. If you can't do that, then you're just going to want to type it out and type in ALS. But anyway, we're going to select the first one. Uh, retarget animations. We're going to go with whatever UE4 mannequin you're using, but currently I'm obviously using the one that comes with the... Uh, content feature pack for a third person character um, yeah we'll have this open here we can auto generate one but since we already have one we're gonna grab the one that's uh, UE5 to UE4 which is oh. this one in the UE4 mannequin UE4 yeah we don't want that one this one okay so once that's done now you're going to see all the animations here, ALS, GASP, Lyra, all that. So what we're going to want to do is just paste that in here or type this in. So now we get only ALS animations. Okay. We'll hit Control A to select them all. Export. We're going to go to the new animation directory. We'll put all the ALS ones in here. And we're going to want to do... Uh, a suffix and I'm just gonna put UE4 at the end of it so that you can keep them separated uh, Unreal Engine 5 and now Unreal Engine 4 we'll hit export <clears throat> over at existing export so now in the retargeted atoms in the ALS folder we now have all the ALS animations we'll hit control shift S nope we don't want to do that because I don't want this level I only made this level so that I can drag some of these out. No, well, obviously I need to save them all. Nope. <clears throat> I guess I gotta save it. We'll just uh, put it here, I guess. Oh, because I had them all selected. <laughs> so now we can test uh, to see the Unreal Engine animation. And check them out. That's the only reason why I did this. So, yeah, now you can check them out. There's all the ALS ones retargeted. Now let's do the same thing for the um, gasp animations. That's retargeted, so we're gonna go gasp. Now we're gonna select one, right click, retarget animations. Okay, and I forgot to grab this. We're gonna want the underscore animation library gasp. Open the other one back up. Paste it in here, select UE4, nope, we'll do mannequin. And we want the UE4 mannequin. Open this up, we're going to want to select UE4, the mannequin UE4 folder and the rig from that one. Now that we've got all the gasp animations, we're going to want to right click, control A, export to animations, put it in the proper folder. We want it all in the GASP folder. And I'm going to put 
<clears throat> U E four. Export. Export. Now we just gotta wait for them to retarget. And now we have them all retargeted, so control shift S to save them all. Okay, so now they're all saved. Let's uh, just throw this one, oop, nope, select one. Throw this out there. Uh, we could play. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's referencing the sandbox player. And oh, okay. So you're just gonna want to fix all these if you want these um, notify states. But you at least have the animations that you can use. So we'll just hit play. Uh, play an editor. I don't care about that. Now you can see, I've got the animation. I only like putting it in the world just so that I can move around and look at it from all different uh, directions with uh, the lighting and shadows and just to see what it looks like in the world. Obviously, you can open it up and look inside. And yeah, see what that looks like. I just like placing it in the world to look. Anyway, we've done that. Now let's move on to the last one. Let's do a Lyra ones. So right click, retarget, do the UE4 mannequin, <clears throat> the one from the mannequin UE4 rigs holder, copy this one, Lyra, now we've got all the Lyra animations, control A, export, Open up the targeted folder, click on Lyra. Here's the UE4, and we export. <coughs> now we just gotta wait. Okay, so now once they are done, Control Shift S, save them all. And we can uh, check these ones out. You can see they're all working. And now you've got all the Lyra animations in or with the uh, Unreal Engine 4 mannequin. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. That's how to easily retarget. And I just want to say thanks again to Mizzle Frizzle and Pitchfork Academy for releasing this uh, awesome pack with all these animations. Um, but now you're not limited to just Unreal Engine 5 animations. Um, a lot of you guys already know how to retarget, so this isn't the video for you, but these are this is the video for the, the people that don't know how to retarget to uh, Unreal Engine 4 from 5. So I hope you enjoyed it. Share this, like it, comment, subscribe, please. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, enjoy. I'll link, like I said, the video to Mizzofrizzle and Pitchfork Academies. Um, video so that you can get this pack yourself it's in their description so i highly recommend checking out their video to give them the view and the traffic and stuff so uh, thanks and have a good day